Hello and welcome. My name's Steve Atkins. We're reporting for Security News TV. Today, we're at Omnicard 2012 here in Berlin. Security threats seem to be evolving very quickly these days and governments throughout the world are starting to realize just how vulnerable their public infrastructure is to such kind of large-scale attacks. Now for the security industry this has translated into a whole range of different applications often summarized as a smart grid. How do you advise your customers regarding this area? I think uh, this is not a, speci a special GND advice. I think it's um, a public and industrial uh, charter to make sure that specifically applications in critical infrastructures of uh, applications in society um, like uh, the power distribution um, and other communication infrastructure, uh, public transportation, that, um, that there is a need of awareness first of the increasing professionalism of attacks and the the mounting threat that is coming with it and the fact that there are solutions, technical solutions, that don't come for free. I think it's a, a joint public industrial charter to first generate awareness and then make clear solutions are available and need to be implemented for, for the sake of the society and the companies and the people. At the end of 2011, the Indian Unique Identification Bill was rejected. Now, throughout the industry, there was a lot of hopes that were pinned on this particular project, especially in terms of both public and private sector applications. What lessons can the identity industry as a whole take away from this kind of setback? I think it's, um, it's extremely natural to say that. If you are playing in the industry of governmental ID, specifically in, uh, in large projects that require also infrastructure projects, that these projects are going through waves. I mean, we've been discussing the China ID project uh, in the late uh, 90s, uh, actually from the mid-90s, uh, coming, going, coming, going. And we've been seeing other large countries where ID projects have been in discussion, be rejected. So the fact that large invest in an ID project of that complexity can have questions and rejections and reoccurrence is something natural to the industry. So I, I wouldn't take specific learnings out of this one. I would just say this is part of the development of EID in the world. Um, I think uh, questions will be raised, questions will be answered. We will see a reoccurrence of the project. Um, the industry is used to that. And I think there's great hope with it, as you said, not only by the uh, public sector, but also by the private sector, which is an interesting and important element of these projects of large invests in infrastructure to take place. So, I'm of course, as everybody is, disappointed if one of these big projects uh, goes on hold, but we are also open, willing and discussing how that can go on and I'm sure we will see the next wave coming and hopefully this leads to an end then. Latest innovations point towards more and more data being stored and secured without any kind of physical form factor such as a, a smart card. Is the cloud or cloud computing now the enemy of hardware-based security? No, I think it's. Uh, I think cloud computing is a very important uh, development, specifically for small, medium-sized enterprises, um, to make efficient use of increasing complexity in of an IT systems. So I think it can drive IT demand, IT applications. With that, naturally, there comes a number of critical questions concern uh, data protection, data security. Um, and so for us as an industry, as a security industry uh, coming from smart cards, we have a lot of technologies and answers on how you can make protection and securing applications and data and access in, in networks. So I think for us this is a, a business development opportunity if the discussion which, which we do see is going to come on uh, identity management, on data integrity, data protection. And so for me, this is not, a, not a, a threat, it's an opportunity for us. What would you say are the upcoming challenges for the ID security industry once all of these major developed countries have rolled out their electronic passports or their electronic ID card schemes? 
Well, I think um, in general, I would say uh, it's always a question on interoperability. Um, so if uh, we find security schemes based on an electronic ID in, uh, in real virtual networks, so along supporting your life, um, there will be the question of interoperability and of application space. So the, um, the question, what can you do with it and how can your identity carry it on a, on a card? Um, how can that be managed in a way that you can trust it um, on applications that you want? And I think this is the question everybody will face. So the rollout simply of the ID function is first. It's very important to then link this to identity management in general. We've mentioned cloud computing a moment ago. I think we have the opportunity to make a trusted identity management a core of a different way of approaching electronic applications. Closer to home, millions of German ID cards are in circulation. Yet, I think it's fair to say that on the application front, uh, the offering is pretty, pretty thin at the moment. Are you disappointed with the lack of interest from the, uh, the private sector and indeed the public in general? No, yes and no. I mean, we always hope for more faster. Um, but I think that this project has been coming to the, on the road, is, uh, is executed, is rolling out, is the most important point. You know that our, our company specifically is uh, waiting for the now happening rollout of another German ID related project, which is the health card. So on any time scale and any, any disappointment that we had from this, uh, that is now finally coming, um, the German ID card is a, is a success story in the beginning. We all, of course, want to have more applications and we have to stimulate that. And also government supported, we are discussing, uh, as part of the German IT uh, summit that we are holding yearly uh, from the security group there, to stimulate um, more applications, to enable uh, people to develop more applications and to support this. And I'm sure we are, of course, all wishing for more faster, but I, I'm absolutely sure we're going to see more coming in the next couple of years. What's your opinion of the use of facial recognition in cloud applications and through social media type applications that we've seen in the past year or so? And do you think the current debate will harm the reputation of using biometrics in other applications such as, say, electronic ID cards, for instance? Um, well, I think it's important that, uh, um, to understand that people are getting more aware on protecting their own identity and their personal data. And I think this is something which is good because I think this is also something that for us as a German industry, we, we have a good recognition and a good brand on being a trusted partner on data security and data protection. So um, these applications have to be critically revised. We have to make sure that consumers understand what's going on there, the people understand it. And I think it's an education process. And we, we will learn that what is happening on biometrics, on governmental ID solutions, and what's happening on clouds, on commercial uh, people uh, on the internet, is something different. And finally, what would you say, in your opinion, are the next stages, or the next steps, or the next applications that both your company and indeed this industry will look at over the next few years? What is clear to us is that um, the demand on security and trust on mobile applications, so we call that going from applets to trustlets for critical processes around yourself, around companies, is going to create a raising demand for our technology and trust that is required in these critical applications. And our company has been um, recognized as a technology leader and a trusted partner around the world for these things on cards, on banknotes, on others, and we are now seeing the move of being a trusted partner with the technology and the trust uh, of Gizek and Devrian in the mobile world.